Hello everybody, this is Old Soldiers. Today's episode is a review of the Blackhawk medical bag. Now, they market this thing as a medical bag, but I had a friend of mine who stole tactical gear to include bags, such as this one, quote-unquote tactical gear, and he said, hey, uh, overwhelmingly the people that bought this, it's marketed as a medical bag, but people use it as a range bag. So lately, if you've been watching the channel, you can see I've been on a kick on bag. I did my Eagle Industries bag. I did the uh, another Blackhawk travel bag. And uh, that's what I'm doing. So a lot of the items that Blackhawk makes, or has made and does make, I really do not think hold up as well. I don't think the quality of the materials is as good, and I don't think the quality of the sewing is good. However, I call it balls and strikes, and this, I think, is a quality uh, piece of gear because I have used this literally for 15 to 20 years and it has held up great and I've used it a lot and I it has seen hard use. Now you can see on this particular model that I have I've festooned it with uh, scare badges from my time in the military and I'm not going to go into it but you know when I separated and I was uh, in a capacity where I was uh, required to carry a firearm and conduct firearms training and undergo firearms training uh, this is one of the range bags I used. I, I use this almost exclusively for work rather than for uh, individual use. And, you know, I separated from the military. I had a bunch of patches. And I thought, uh, you know, why not? Flyer colors. Plus, you'll see on the other side I had um, some other patches. I have a Class A patch from the 82nd. And, uh, you know, I have some patches or uh, qualification patches. Now, some of these you're going to say, hey, we don't wear uh, foreign jump wings or the Recondo badges on the duty uniform. Well, that's true now, but in the 80s, in the 82nd Airborne Division, it used to be standard practice on either your camouflage jungle fatigues or your OG-107s or your BDUs uh, to wear them foreign jump wings on your duty uniform. And also, uh, you know, the uh, 18th Airborne Corps Recondo School, people co uh, commonly wore that on the pocket of their fatigues. Um, mid to late 80s, Department of the Army came down and said, hey, not uh, DA authorized, not for wearing the duty uniform, and that all went away. But I still had the patches, and hey, whatever. So, um, anyway, let's get back to the bag. So, this is a quality-made item. I've used this hard, and uh, it's much smaller than the other range bag, which I, the Eagle range bag, the Pro Deluxe Pro Shooter bag that I reviewed, was used almost exclusively for recreational use, or use of my own time. time. This was used for work, and it's big enough for a little ear pro, I can take out in the range with me some ammunition and a few other small items. Um, it was nice. Maybe a stapler, maybe some ear pro, eye pro, a few other things. And uh, now that I'm not working full time anymore, I don't use it nearly as much, but it really did serve its purpose for many, many years. Let's get into it. Being the pack rat that I am sometime, I also had a Black Hawk catalog from the year 2001. This is page 74. This is a photograph, or this film, is of the range bag and the mini range bag. The one depicted in this episode is the medical bag, and it's depicted in this photograph on the right. Page 74 of their 2001 catalog. The dimensions on this bag are 13 and a half inches long by 5 and a half inches deep by 8 inches wide. Uh, it is a cubic rating of 594 inches. The main compartment is roomy, and I used this just this last weekend. We did a family camping trip with friends uh, to New Mexico, and we did some shooting when we were up there. And I just threw in a couple items. A uh, couple sets of Ear Pro, one electric, one not. A set of Eye Pro. And then uh, we were shooting good old 22 long rifle. So, yeah, for small items, this thing works great. Also had an extra pair of, uh, threw in some uh, soft ear plugs for some of the other people that were spectating but not necessarily shooting. There are D-rings sewn into each side of the bag. There is an optional shoulder strap that you can buy. I never bought it and never used it because I really wasn't quite carrying anything too heavy with this. But uh, they're there in case I would need them. And should I ever need one, I could pull a shoulder strap off of one of my other bags and uh, use it with that. One thing I will point out, this thing is 15 to 20 years old and has been used heavy. There is a little bit of a rear rip there, but I could easily have that re-sewn. This bag also features sewn-in carrying handles. And like I said, this has been used hard. The sewing and the material on this 
the sewing is sewed up well. No sign of wear or tear. And that's generally a stress point or a weak spot. These are no longer in production. I do see them on eBay or other online forums from time to time. And I have found them or seen them in uh, flea markets. When I bought this, it was right around $30. I did see a brand new one online for the whopping price of $45. Are they good? Yeah. Are they $45 worth of good? Mm, maybe. Uh, this is a good piece of gear. Uh, the Blackhawk medical bag has stood the test of time. A lot of, a lot of the things that I review on this channel I have used extensively, and this is one of them. I highly recommend the Blackhawk medical bag. This is Old Soldier, out.